when we're throwing, you notice that uh, the handle, yeah. like our sticks are on the handle at either a, a one o'clock or 11 o'clock position, depending on which turn our skip has asked for. Ray Campbell's strategy has been the same for decades. The only thing that's changed is her tools. Stick curling is a modified version for older athletes who have a tough time getting low to throw the rocks. Get over, get over. Stick games are six ends and there's no sweeping until the rock passes the hog line. Oh, Joe, nice shot. There are different types of sticks, but they all do the same thing. Mimic the way a curler's hand would hold the rock, then release it. Players say stick curling has done three things. Brought new people to the game, kept older athletes in the game, and has brought people like Earl Stevenson back into the game. You know, you get to the age where an, something goes wrong with your knee, something goes wrong with your hip. You can't get, you can get down into the hack, but you can't get back up again. The game is growing so much in the province, the association is now putting on clinics and community clubs outside Winnipeg. There are some clubs that wouldn't be open without stick curling. Uh, a couple that come to mind would be Marquette, Manitoba, and, uh, and also Petersfield. There are three main things you need for stick curling. Two people, about an hour of your time, and one of the actual sticks to throw the rock. Warren and his teammates are looking forward to the provincial championships from February 19th to 21st, and they're also going to the national championships in Vernon, BC, sometime in March. Samantha Sampson, RRC-TV.